owning this business, I can see why he loved him so much. And like I got a customer um, that I sent out some boots to and he was so elated about it. He said, I already um, sent the pictures to my brothers and sisters like you have good quality. I love these boots. So, you know, stuff like that warms my heart. And I know that I'm doing something that impacts other people and especially being a black woman in this industry is really kind of unheard of but it was it started with the little girl and me wanted to impress my dad so um that would really spark my interest when it came to making it into a business because i previously um used to be into clothes and that's how d books came about because i was a business consultant for my father-in-law with d books boutique and so when i started out he was like well won't you just get you know start in a little corner in here and, and see how i do and here it is two years later and i'm i'm blessed and i'm thankful you know for all the support that people have shown me oh yes ma'am and i mean that's the true definition of an entrepreneur uh <laughs> And I've been in there, and I like to tell everybody, it's wonderful items in there, the apparel, women's, women's apparel, those boots. I asked, I said, hey, you got to come in here and talk. <laughs> you got to come in here and talk about those boots because I, as you say, these cowgirls and these cowboys out here, and you're an African-American woman, you're selling boots. And by the way, I'm an Alkanite. And I remember going out to Alcorn, I felt being from Jackson, this, this small town of Jackson, Mississippi, mm -hmm. when I went out to Alcorn, everybody wore boots, and especially snakeskin boots. So I yes. said, hey, <laughs> I said, hey, I'm, uh, we wearing Nikes and Jordans, they wearing snakeskins out here, so uh, I had to go by.